Hello everyone. In today's video, I wanted to discuss a topic that I think is pretty important, especially for men today, which is the understanding that the playbook is designed for you to lose. And what I mean by that is, the playbook that you're given toward the beginning of your life that says, this is what you're supposed to do to be successful. This is what you're supposed to do to be a good person. This is what you're supposed to do to meet your goals or to have a happy life. All those kinds of things combined. A lot of the information that you're given is designed for you to basically fail. And again, this is especially true for younger men in society today, in Western society, that still have their futures ahead of them. Even if you do everything supposedly right based on the playbook that you're given, the things that you're told to do, whether it's settle down and get married and have children, or pursue a successful career at a particular place of employment, or whether it's just treat everyone nice and always kind of put others before yourself and just try to be a nice guy. All these kinds of things, to a large extent, are designed for you to fail. They're designed for you to be exploited. Because even if you do everything right, according to what society says that you should pursue, the system will still dispose of you if a woman in your life becomes dissatisfied or if society no longer finds you useful for any reason. It's not just that men are placed at a disadvantage at meeting society's expectations. Like, it's not just that the family law courts are the way that they are today when it comes to divorce or child custody and that men are going to have to fight harder to see their kids. It's not just that women have power over you in a corporate environment where they can make an accusation against you and you're basically guilty unless you can prove yourself innocent. It's not just that things will be difficult for you because of where we're at in our society. If you follow the playbook that you're given, as soon as you can no longer fulfill your expected role within that network or within that relationship, you can be tossed aside. And it will be justified in a kind of ad hoc, uh, upside down type of way to where even if you did everything that you feel like you were supposed to do to the best of your ability, you will be labeled as the bad guy. You will be labeled as someone who abuses other people. You will be labeled as someone who is not a good family member just because your wife or your ex-wife decided to spread rumors about you. Even if you do everything right, you can still so easily be screwed over because the playbook is designed for you to lose to begin with. What you're told to do from the time that you're very young oftentimes is not in your best interest and is not designed to lead to your success. It's just designed in a lot of cases in a way for other people to be able to take advantage of that. So why is this important? Well, sometimes traditional conservatives like to imply that while pursuing a conventional path in life, whether it's getting married and having kids or you know working a dead-end job so that you can basically support yourself or support your family, or even if it's not a dead-end job, and there's this hope for promotion or this hope for success, but the, the job that you have is really just, it's in a very anti-male environment, or you're not respected for the work that you do. Traditional conservatives will say that it may be challenging in our society to try to deal with these things and push through these things, but you can still win, so to speak, in life as a man using this strategy, that it will still lead to your ultimate success. You just have to be good enough to overcome these obstacles as a real man should be able to do. And the thing is, this isn't really the case. Rather, the system is designed for men to believe this about themselves and about the direction that they're going in their lives. The system is designed for men to think this way so that they will continue being productive for others and buy into their own exploitation through this process. It's about telling you that this is how you're supposed to be as a real man or a good man so that you continue to make decisions that put you in a vulnerable state or in a vulnerable position so that you'll have to work all these hours in order to pay child support or so that your wife can basically continue to get you to be the provider for her even if she's not going to divorce you. You're told that this is what 
makes your life fulfilling. You know, happy wife, happy life. You as a man especially, as an individual man, are told these things because it will be too late by the time you figure out, in a lot of cases, that this is all designed for you to fail. That the playbook that you're given, the plays that you're looking at, the other team knows what those plays are. And I don't want to get too much into the sports analogy. That was kind of the original idea behind putting it this way. But the other team, so to speak, knows your plays. Whether you're looking at relationships or your overall role in society, you as a man, you're not calling the plays for your own success. You're calling plays for the other team, for its success. No matter how successful you are at any point in your life as a man, even these men that get married and they have successful careers and they've done the right thing and they've managed to get so far with it, you are always vulnerable should your wife or the people around you in your life in general decide that they are not satisfied with your performance if you're making these kinds of decisions, if you're using the conventional playbook to make decisions in your life. You are never at a point where you cannot be defeated by these forces using the current expectations for men in society today. As soon as something happens, whether you develop health problems or whether you get laid off for whatever reason, even if it's at no fault of your own, and that's the thing about this, it doesn't matter what's your fault. It doesn't matter what you had control over. You will be punished by society even if you do everything that people around you told you to do. Whether it's a woman or whether it's a lot of the people who say that you're, they're your friends but they're not really or whether it's people in your life in general or in your past, most of them are not really going to understand that you can do everything right and as soon as something bad happens or as soon as something out of your control happens, it doesn't matter. You as a man will be held responsible for it anyway. And if it's a false accusation that someone makes against you that's terrible, that doesn't matter either. If it's someone just not happy in a relationship with you anymore, you will be punished for that. And the thing is, you won't figure out that that's what's going to happen until it's too late if you just follow the plays that society gives you. If you just call plays out of that playbook, you will think that you're winning in life and that you're being successful, but you're never at a point where that can't be taken away in society today. And this could really be true for anyone who's in this situation today. And again, I don't know whether this has been the case throughout history or not, especially, like I say, for men. But this is what I see today, that you could do everything supposedly right. And I've heard men talk about this in regards to their past relationships. And what you'll hear from traditionalists and what you'll hear from society is, you just didn't find the right woman. You just need to do it over again. And some people, some men, they never figure out that, the playbook that you're given is designed for you to lose. The other team, i.e. basically women collectively and society collectively, benefits from you being exploited. And so the plays that you're calling, if you're using the traditional or, or really the conventional playbook that men are given today from the time that they're literally boys, it just doesn't work. And so if they're calling those plays, then they're not really being successful or they are up to a point but then only as long as other people in society benefit as well from that success. It's not really designed around the well-being of the man. It's designed for the well-being of the state and society and whatever woman that man might happen to be with. So the bottom line of all this is that it's time to come up with new plays. It's time to stop using the old playbook because the old playbook has been sabotaged and compromised and it's not designed for you to be successful as a man. Each man must decide what kinds of decisions he's going to make in life, what his playbook is going to look like. But the old playbook must be thrown out before finding a new potential path towards success. Success in the long run in any sort of reasonable way is not possible realistically for a man today using the conventionally expected path. It's not designed for you to be successful. It's designed for you to be successful for others up until the point where you can't do what they expect you to do. And then even if you did everything supposedly right, all the blame and all the responsibility for things that you may or may not have had control over is going to come back on you. And this is something that I've seen to some extent in my life, 
but to a greater extent in what other people and other men have talked about, where they supposedly did everything right, and it basically made no difference in the end, because they were just participating in a system, and they were calling plays that were designed for their exploitation and for their defeat. And that's basically what happened to them, and some of them never did figure out that they needed to make a change. But for men or for individuals that that find themselves in this situation, throw out the old playbook. Stop caring about what most people tell you you should do, because most people just basically want to take advantage of you, especially as a man in the world today, and you have to decide what will lead to your success and your wellness. You have to make a playbook that's built around what you want to do and what's important in your life and you've got to be able to walk away from the expectations that most people have for you because they just want to take advantage of you in most cases.